Welcome everyone to the final Cybersecurity Magazine podcast of the year. This time I'm joined by the rest of the editors to have a bit of a look back over the year, what topics have been key this year and what activities we've been involved with as well as I look forward to 2023. Um, so thanks Hans and Anna for joining me. Uh, so this year CSN's been really busy. Um, we've done articles twice a week, nearly every week. We've done 11 podcasts plus the 17 from Etsy Security Week. Um, we've been improving our views, our follows and everything. It's It's been quite a successful year, I would say. Yep, it, thanks, Philip. Uh, I, I just wanted to add one, a couple of points quickly. One mm -hmm. is that um, uh, Rajiv couldn't join us today, so, but still yeah. three of us are together. Um, the, the other point is, uh, um, yes, as you said, Philippa, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, two articles uh, a week uh, and, and you said podcast like, uh, mm -hmm. one every every two weeks just we are in many different channels available now including spotify isn't it and youtube mm -hmm. of course website mm -hmm. emails and twitter and and linkedin um, but uh, our continuously over the years our goal has been the same yeah mm -hmm. it's about security awareness on various topics to everyone from everyone as well mm -hmm. yeah just just wanted to add, add yeah that. definitely um Looking back, are there any standouts, kind of contents or moments for you guys from the last year from CSM? Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe uh, since I like talking too much, so let me <laughs> take the first shot. You know, uh, I think uh, w one of them that really stands out and, and is of uh, uh, extreme importance uh, uh, in, the, in the society we are in today, mm -hmm. due to various reasons that we have discussed elsewhere is privacy enhancing technologies that uh, that we had a, po a podcast on with uh, Nigel Smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. if you talk from that pers perspective, uh, then I, I, I would say that we know that uh, privacy enhancing technologies has further enhancements coming along as we're mm -hmm. talking about AI mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, um, in addition, I just want to add, uh, say a sentence that uh, uh, we, we have been uh, fortunate to have articles uh, on whole breadth of technologies and mm -hmm. uh, solutions and methods of security that are out there and also depth as well in, in as usual in, in a simple language accessible to everyone. Yeah, I, I, from my side, that if someone else has the other <laughs> No, yeah. I completely, completely agree with that. I mean, we we were quite lucky, especially in the in the second half of the year, I think, to get quite a number of of articles and also recurring articles from from authors that uh, you know have published once on our platform, um, have seen mm -hmm. that uh, that this hit quite some some good response, uh, and came back with with another similar article. We had a lot of uh, articles on security basics, which is mm -hmm. obviously nice, as you mentioned, Anand, should be accessible to, to everyone. Um, so th that's just really great to see and really want to encourage uh, anyone listening or viewing this um, that please do reach out if you have something to say about cybersecurity, um, then reach out to us uh, and mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, looking forward to, to reading your, your draft. Um, on the podcast side, I think rather than um, picking a, a single installment. I think it was just great getting to talk to all these experts in these different domains. Uh, really mm -hmm. personal for me as well. Um, you know, even though working in security, you, you get kind of an understanding of, of what's going on. But in so many different domains, I, I always take something uh, new away from these sessions. So that was that was great. Mm -hmm. We've really had quite a range uh, for the topics this year on podcasts as well. Like, you know, last month, Hans, you're talking to about threat modeling. We've had him on quantum, on privacy enhancing technologies, as you said, Anna, and that was actually our most popular podcast, which just shows how important um, that topic is. Um, we started the year by talking about AI and how it can be used to detect attacks. So it's really been, yeah, quite a nice year of different topics or current topics within cybersecurity. Um, having looked back at 22 now, perhaps we want to start talking about 23 as it's the end of the year now. If I if I may just, uh, I, I, I do have to mention uh, one or two points on 22 before mm -hmm. we jump into 23. One is that we, we did a, a new thing that was a webinar uh, on 
uh, critical infrastructure. We hadn't done that before, and security mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Uh, 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 welcome for th thoughts on that side as well from everyone uh, to do a webinar with us. Um, and and Philippa, you uh, you were there in Etsy. Oh uh, yeah. Workshop and, yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we were at the Etsy Security Conference this year. Um, that was a great opportunity for me, especially as I got to actually be there, talk to all the experts there. We have. 17 podcast episodes in the end we got from that event that are all available to listen to on our website and um covering topics from kind of what etsy is actually and the work that it does to kind of standardization and more generally global standardization and the issues there um and yeah that was a really great experience for us this year and hopefully we'll continue that partnership with Etsy as well into 2023. Um, we've also actually been media partners of quite a few events last year as well, which was great to be a part of as well, which is going to be slightly newer for us. Yep, and and we look forward to other partnerships as well that we are mm -hmm. we are trying to build. And 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 by the way, uh, Hans and I were missing our friends there in <laughs> Etsy <laughs> conference. We all of them were there kind of. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was quite a popular event. Maybe next time. Yeah, um, yeah but you want? To, yeah, sorry. What, what else, Anand? If we if we actually look at kind of like hot topics, I mean, I mean it's it, it's so cliche looking at this um, before before the year ends, but like, what do you see as you know recurring security issues that we haven't get we haven't got rid of in mm -hmm. 2022 yet, um, that that kind of keep popping up and, and, and causing problems. Across industries, uh, I, I, I can uh, keep awake and speak speak about that whole mm -hmm. night long. I think or whole day long. Um, uh, I think uh, there are a couple of points we can talk about. But uh, uh, what I would say is that um, uh, basic or baseline security concerns still stay, yeah? mm -hmm. and that's the hardening. That's the uh identity management and stuff like that and and the care for those um and in, in telecom uh in, in general i would say the roaming side but uh hans on, on your question uh, for, uh and mixing that to what where philippa was going towards 2023 if i'm a big one topic then uh, I, I will say still that the ransomware thing still stays as a major okay. issue that i i think probably it will continue but but I'm pretty sure uh, there are others as well. Uh, Philippa Hans, if you want to add. So ransomware, I, I think we're pretty all uh, agreeing that it's the problem is going to increase, right? Um, what are your thoughts on kind of how that can be tackled in 2023 or what you're hoping to see against that? That's a good question. Um... See the, the the I think the the whole rise in in ransomware is not caused by but was definitely accompanied by this uh, rise in interest in in Bitcoin in, in yeah digital anonymous payments right. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder actually with that kind of currently taking a dip as well or uh, to what extent uh, that might influence uh, these kinds of attacks as well. Okay. How, how viable they they will be in the future. Of course, I mean it's still going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. the, the you know malicious actors will probably find a way to somehow monetize or otherwise leverage these these types of attacks. How is it going to get fixed? Um, that's a that's a good question. In in the end, as Anand mentioned, it is about um, you know raising security awareness. Something that mm -hmm. we're trying to do with with Cybersecurity Magazine. It's about uh, making sure that you have basic security controls in place um, and yeah try to to manage the the attack surface of your of your systems and yeah also of your office IT. Yeah we yep. had a couple of articles this year as well looking at ransomware um, specifically from business point of view kind of how you can be prepared for it how CISOs can be prepared for it that kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh, uh, let me uh, uh, agree with Hans and you, you, both of you actually comp uh, completely true. Uh, uh, the, if you take care of baseline security, you can 
uh, you can at least reduce uh, the ransomware issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if if I if you go towards uh, other topics, uh, Hans, uh, um, uh, would you like to add something else? Yeah, I mean, one topic that's that's also definitely dear to my heart would be that of uh, API security. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, not only in the domain of, of telecommunications with 5G, but uh, essentially every everything has, a, has an API now. Everything is trying to be extensible uh, or at least yeah, controllable via uh, a programming interface as well. And with that come a lot of security issues, or some major ones that, that we've seen in, in 2022. Um, and uh, it just shows that uh, the, the security awareness for what kind of issues uh, these APIs can um, can pose if they're not properly protected, if they're not um, uh, designed in a way to expose the minimal, minimal type of information, not validate uh, the yeah, people or the, the systems accessing those uh, those interfaces. Mm -hmm. That's that's definitely an issue, and I, I think it's going to be still a hot topic in, in 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely agree. I mean, um, people finally have started giving it a little bit of attention, actually, API security implications. And I, and I guess we had some articles on this as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, we had one in November on shadow APIs, and I think we had one earlier in the year on um, API attacks as well. So definitely anyone listening wants to know more, they can find out more on our website. Um, definitely. If we yeah. kind of move yeah. away from from purely technical issues, mm -hmm. um, I think one of the the you know the issues that we're <laughs> that the whole world is currently facing mm -hmm. is, is that of economic difficulties and there of course come a lot of uh, questions with regards to supply chain or availability um, but Anand, how do you think that impacts our security as well do you see a, a connection there yeah um, you know I, I always talk about holistic security <laughs> yeah uh, let me let me use that term and then and then answer it to your question uh, hans so uh, look at people process and tech yeah i mean even building the process you do actually need people yeah so mm -hmm. uh, i i think that if you're talking about uh, as the world is moving um, the connectivity coming uh, mm -hmm. even more um, and then the turmoil we are seeing in the world uh, and then the uh, economic trends that we are talking about um, they are kind of a, 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 in going in different direction if you talk from security perspective one saying that decrease cost potentially and another saying that do more security what i would say is that even though these things happen uh, um, uh, security should still be given at, at appropriate attention at the board level even, uh, not only down mm -hmm. there. Um, there'll be a, a crunch in uh, getting the right technology in place, but okay, the one has to balance that. Um, but then Hansa uh, and Philippa and everyone actually, I also think then there's a resource challenge as well that has always been, and it will be even more so, yeah. Um, maybe a slightly longer answer than expected, but, <laughs> but still, uh, um, yeah, a few thoughts we can uh, we can mm -hmm. have many more thoughts there I guess yeah and when you say resources you're talking about kind of people working within cybersecurity cybersecurity technology yeah uh, I'm talking about people in in cybersecurity and mm -hmm. uh, 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 doing all kind of things uh, uh, as is mentioned in one of our uh, career related article and yeah. getting deep into that and throughout the life cycle as well yeah yeah, it's nice that you touched on that because um, that's something we definitely started to do more towards the end of the year is looking at um, careers within cybersecurity. And um, we put out yeah an article on different careers and then we started um, our series of career profiles, kind of profiling actually what jobs there are in cybersecurity and, and kind of how you can get there. Yeah, and, and highlighting that there's not just one way into cybersecurity, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's 
you don't have to, you know, take one specific route. Um, the fact of the matter is cybersecurity is such a broad field, right? I mean, uh, it, it's completely different whether you are, a, you know, penetration mm -hmm. tester or whether you are a security architect, something like that. Um, and I think showing sort of the, the next generation of security, potentially security professionals, um, that spectrum and, and what security entails, uh, what is there and, and um, what kind of skills you, you need um, is something really important that we definitely are going to continue into 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing the content that we put out next year on, on that and how that develops as well. Um, Hansa, do you want to comment more upon kind of the difficulties of security and the current economic situation that we have at the moment? I think Anand already summarised it quite well. That's all okay. Right. Cool. Um, one thing I just thought we had um, a few articles, a couple of podcasts last year on the use of AI within security. That seems to have been somewhat of a big topic for us this year, uh, at least one of interest. Um, do you see that continuing into twenty three? If uh, asked to me, uh, I, I do think so. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, from from many many different mm -hmm. angles, um, uh, the security for AI, if you want to say, that itself uh, is is also one matter of of concern and a matter of to, to work on. Yeah, and as I as I said earlier as well. Uh, using AI also for privacy purposes, you know, mm -hmm. you can use AI to generate realistic data. Yeah, for example, and and therefore uh, the privacy matter is taken care of and still you can use the data to do your analysis and stuff like that, for example. Yeah, so mm -hmm. AI in from many different aspects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Well, that's a look back at 22, look forward to 23. Um, does anyone kind of have any more thoughts on, on key topics and or where the CSM is going at the moment? Well, I would say if any of our listeners or, uh, or viewers has something in mind that we might have missed, mm -hmm. do reach out. If you want to make a podcast with us, if you want to record a podcast, if you want to write an article, uh, reach out, uh, always happy to to uh, review that and, and have a chat with you. And mm -hmm. maybe we've missed some of the key, yeah. the key topics, then please do let us know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, ex exactly. Um, uh, um, we'll, we have been there for to bring uh, cybersecurity or security awareness uh, to everyone. Um, mm -hmm. We welcome thoughts on that. I really think so that uh, inputs are most welcome. We'll be looking a bit more also on career aspects, uh, I think, and uh, bringing you steady uh, source of uh, mm -hmm. information and new information uh, in the field of, of uh, good quality, yeah, uh, continuously reviewed uh, before before being published. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks, thanks everyone for uh, uh, yeah. also spending time with us yeah. yes thank you to our readers all our listeners anyone who's had a look at our content over the last year um we hope it was useful insightful um and everything else and yeah we're really looking forward to next year we have a lot of things planned um media partnerships podcasts on things like quantum zero trust we have coming up um more careers articles and focus on there and some more things on standardization, which has been another focus for us this year. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone. And we hope you have a great rest of 2022.